I'm going to go over exam number two, which consists of six problem. Problem one, I ask you to solve distance, displacement, speed, and velocity. Problem two, you have to find the velocity of a free fall object in free fall. Problem number three, four, five. Um, someone throw a ball from the rooftop of Brooklyn Tech, which is 50 meters above the ground, and you have to find um, the velocity and time at different location, four location to be specific. And problem number six, uh, you drop a ball object from above the ground, you have to find displacement versus time, velocity versus time, acceleration versus time, distance versus time, and speed versus time, and magnitude of acceleration versus time. Graph. So let's go over problem number one. Of course, I give you uh, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Uh, x, this is a one dimensional problem. Uh, okay, so an object is moved 90 meters to the east, turns around, and it stop at or right here at 60 meters. It stop right here at 60 meters. So, first I ask you to find um, the distance. The distance is, of course, uh, 90 meters plus 30 meters, which is 120 meters. That's, it, that's the final answer. B. Displacement. Displacement is df minus di, which is df is uh, of course 60 meter minus uh, zero, 0 meter, which is of course 60 meter to the east. Uh, number C. I ask you to find the speed. Remember, speed is uh, distance. This entire trip took 60 seconds. So distance over of course time so two meter per second and finally uh, velocity which is of course the displacement over time so the displacement is sixty meters and over time is sixty second so one meter per second of course don't forget to put is that was the problem number one two has to do with me dropping an object uh, from above the ground uh, so drop. Drop means initial velocity is zero. I ask you to find uh, the velocity of the object. Velocity of the object when the time is when the time is 2.3 second. So all you have to do vi plus at. Of course vi is zero because when you drop velocity initial is zero minus 9.8 2.3. And you know uh, 10 times 2 is of course 20. So is little bit more than 20. So Vf is of course negative, don't forget negative 22.5 meter per second. If you write negative 22 meter per second, that's fine. Or if you write 22.5 meter per second to the south, that's fine. Okay. Or if you write 22 meter per, uh, 22.5 meter per second down, that's also fine. So, so this is we're going to call ground. So Mr. Barry is on the rooftop of Brooklyn Tech, which is 50 meter above the ground. And we use this one as 0, 0, what does that mean? Uh, that means uh, this is our origin, so this is negative 50. So I throw a ball, and the ball eventually falls to the ground, okay? So this is uh, the ground. So this is the same height. This height and this height will be the same height. Okay, uh, this this side this side this side. If this is uh, this is from here to here is 50 meter. From here to here is also 50 meter. So let's put it down over here as well. Okay, now few things. This is of course t1, which is zero. V1 I gave you 20 meter per second. This is the max height. Uh, t1 uh, I don't know, but V1 I give you at max height velocity is zero. Okay, all the time without any exception. Uh, your, this is your T2, this is your of course V2. V2 I'm going to give you, V2 is negative 20. Why negative 20? Negative 20 is because this is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction, of course. And the finally, this one, this one is T4 and V4. T D is equal to VAT plus half AT squared. Of course, V is negative 50 is equal to 20T minus half times negative 9.8 is negative 4.9 t square i'm going to bring everything to the left side so negative become positive 4.9 t square minus 20 t minus 50 is equal to zero this is a quadratic 
equation. So you're going to use the uh, this is a this is a second degree polynomial. So you're going to use the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So b is negative 20. So negative negative positive. So positive 20 plus 20 squared. 20 squared is 400 minus 4 times a. So let's say a is 5. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 50 is 1000. But this is not quite 5. So this is less than 1000. And this is negative, 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 positive. So is uh, 980 divided by 2 times 5 is 10. But this is not quite 5. 4.9. So 9.8. 2 times 4.9 is 9.8. So 20 plus minus you have uh, 1400. This is uh, uh, 1380 to be more precise. 90.98. Okay, good. So this is uh, our time. So our time is uh, 5.8. Okay, so 5.8 second at T4. T4 is 5.8 second. We're going to find uh, V final over here. So V final is equal to V initial plus 80. All right, so V4, so we're going to replace V4 over here. This VI is 20 minus 9.8. T is 5.8. Okay, so V4 is that what we are trying to find is 20 minus 9, 10 and 660, right? 60. So this is going to be less than 60. So this is going to be uh, 10 and 660. So this is going to be 57. All right, so if, t if, uh, if 10 times 6 is 60, 9.8 times 5.8 is going to be less than 60. So this is 57. So V4 is negative 37. So our velocity is negative 37. Of course, uh, meter per second. And this is, of course, second. All right. Now, what is else we need to know? T2. We're going we, we to we need T2. So T2, to find T2, you're going to have Vf is equal to Vi plus 80. Vf at V2 is equal to Vi plus 80. What is V2? V2 is negative 20. Vi is 20. Uh, minus 9.8 t so you have um, being it over here so negative negative uh, so negative 20 negative 20 negative 40 is equal to negative 9.8 t negative negative cancel so t is equal to 40 over 9.8 of course 40 over 10 is 4 so this is not quite 10 so is 4.08 second so t 4.08 second so this is a parabola right so since this is a parabola this is symmetric. So if this is 4.0, this is going to be 2.04 second. Now we know every single point. Now you can use the, uh, you can put this to the boxes, right? Uh, so yeah, so this was problem number three. Now problem number four, I gave you to, uh, I, I, I asked you to convert it to a VT graph. So let's convert this one to VT graph. So if we do convert this one to VT graph, this is what we get. So this is V and this is T. Of course, this one is, uh, we're going to call, uh, when T is 0, V is 20. So this is V1, uh, this is T1, V1, T1, comma V1. So T1, comma V1. So when T1 is 0, V1 is 20. Pretty good. This one, of course, when T1 is uh, 2.04 2 point this is of course what is it t2 v2 okay so when t1 is uh, no this is t1 uh, yeah this is this is t1 this is t2 v2 okay. this is t3 v3 this is t4 v4 okay good so this is t2 v2 all right so when T2 is 2.04, V2 is, has to be 0, and this is 0, obviously, right? Good. Now, this point is, let's say this point is, of course, 5.85, uh, 5.8, 5.8, 5 this is 5.8. So this one has to be 5.8, comma, negative 37. This one is 5.8, comma. Also, this is correct. Also, if you write, by any chance, if you write this one is, uh, 4.08 comma negative 20 you're also going to get it right okay so this one um, I'm going to be pretty open to this one either you put this or you receive the point but I'm going to put this one 5.8 comma negative 
comma negative 37. Okay, so this three point. So this is uh, uh, this is T3, this is B3. Okay, good. So this is question, and this is answer to question number uh, four. Now, answer to question number five. We should be uh, pretty easy. Question number five. So first, we're gonna find the max height. Max height with respect to the zero. All right. Don't don't make mistake. We're gonna find the max height. This is max height. Max with respect to the zero. Where is zero? Uh, zero is this one. Y is zero. Y is y is zero. Okay, good. So v f square is equal to v i square plus two a. Okay. Now, if we want to find this height, then of course our um, vf of, of course we're going to use this one because the max height is right here so this is zero is equal to 20 square plus 2 negative 9.8 and of course and then d all right so um so let's um so this is uh, this is zero is equal to 400 minus 19.6 d so d is equal to uh, 400 over 19.6 uh, okay uh, don't yeah that's it so let's say this is 20 and this is 400 so this is just 20 so d is equal to more or less 20 all right 20 point maybe 20.4 20.4 but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go with 20 so uh, the maximum height the maximum height is 20.4 meter okay now Area, we're gonna find the area. This is also is still we are doing by number five. Okay, so area, this area we're gonna find half B H. So half, so half B is of course uh, 2.04, 2.04, and H is of course uh, 20. So this is 10, so this is 20. Uh, 20, uh, so the, the, this area is 20 meters. Now we're going to find this area. So area is half BH. So half B is of course, uh, this is 5.8, 5.8 minus 2.04, 3.76. Uh, and then this is negative 37. So this goes to 18.5, uh, negative 18.5. This is negative 70 meter. Okay. So you have, this is negative 70, negative 70 meter. So you have positive 20 and negative 70. So you have area 1 minus area 2 is equal to what? Area 1 is 20. Area 2 is negative 70. So negative 50. And indeed, this is negative. Of course, the displacement is negative 50. And then we're going to find the total distance. Total distance would be what? The total distance would be um, this is uh, this is from here to here is 20.4 or just 20 plus from here to here is 20.4 or just 20 and from here to here is 50 uh, plus 50 so it's about 90 half a ball from high 30 meter above the ground one two three four five six so this is uh, dt this is VT, this is AT, this is displacement, distance versus time, speed versus time, and this is acceleration, magnitude of acceleration of time. Okay, now this one you can if you if you do it like this, you're good. If you do it like this, you're also good. Okay. However, this one initial velocity is zero whenever you drop anything. So this one has to be looked like this. And this one has to be, has to be horizontal line but below zero. Has to be. Uh, this one, absolute value of this, absolute value of this is only this, nothing else. Absolute value of this is only this, nothing else. And absolute value of this is only this. So this was uh, the today's test.